Uh, we're just making it work here on the beach. So I'm gonna jump right in. Um, so the last video I talked about how you need to believe in your story. Uh, so make sure your story is written and then you need to believe in it. Have confidence and know that whatever you have to share, it may not be for everybody, but it's important. Um, so even if your story is written, uh, it's, it's, it's gonna evolve. So just be open to that. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit later about how I, I'm just in the process of self-publishing a book. And when I started, I thought I had a complete manuscript and by the time the process was done, my manuscript does look and sound different, but it's okay. Um, so, so how you publish determines your next steps. I'm gonna say that again. How you choose to publish your book will determine your next steps. And so what I mean by that is, let me start with the first thing. Um, you can traditionally publish, however, it's very difficult. So a lot of authors, I think when they think of becoming published, most people think of the traditional way in which you become published. And that's great, uh, and I'll, I'll talk about that. So, you know, really quickly, when my mom and I wrote My Brother Adam, which is our first book, which is a children's book, uh, my Brother Adam, A Journey with Schizophrenia. We wanted to uh, traditionally pub publish. My mom shopped the book around just a little bit, probably to a few different publishing companies. Now, let me back up a little bit and just say that when it comes to, when you hear traditionally published, what that means is that you would like a larger publishing house or a, a you know publishing company to publish your book. And so my mom did try that route very briefly. However, you know, she was rejected. Um, you know, she was told no, that whatever these publishing houses were, they told her that they were not interested in publishing her children's book. And that's okay. I mean, they have various reasons as to why, and they have certain guidelines. And that's another thing. If you want to traditionally publish your manuscript, and I'm, I'm, I use that word a lot. So by manuscript, what I mean is the edited and, and pretty much almost final, if not final, uh, copy of your work, that's your manuscript. That needs to be a certain way if you want to traditionally publish. And the, the publisher will have the right to make you change your work or your manuscript if it doesn't meet their guidelines. So when my mom was told no, she decided to go with a, um, a you know an independent publisher. So my brother Adam was actually published independently um, by a you know publishing house that was local in Wisconsin where she lived at the time and um, and yeah and so that's kind of leads me into you know number two which is another way that you can publish your book is um, independently and there are actually a lot of independent black publishers so one day I went on Google and I typed in black independent you know publishing companies and so many so many companies came up so definitely if, if that's you know what you want to do you can go that route we actually did not go with a black publishing company independent uh, company uh, but we did go with someone who was willing because you have to understand that even if the publishing company is independent they can still say no you know I mean they can still turn you down and they have a very limited capacity as well so you know in, in most cases in most cases um, a, a independent publishing company is going to be small and so they can't work with everybody and they have to you know choose wisely so we were blessed enough to find someone to publish our book however you know one of the things about this route is that you do have to pay so I, I may not have said this but if you're tr being traditionally published you get typically I think you get an advance and um, the expectation with a traditional publisher is that because we gave you this advance, we expect to not only make this money back that we gave you, but even more. And so that's why the traditional publishers will help you with um, marketing the book because they want you to sell books. When you publish with an, with an independent publisher, um, you have to use your own money. So there's not, in most cases, as far as I know, I don't believe there's an advance involved you pay for their services and they will offer depending on the publisher they should offer editing services um, it, you know they may know illustrators that they can connect you to um, in most cases I don't think they offer marketing services or if they do it's probably limited because like I said a lot of times these independent publish 
publishing companies are, you know, run by maybe one or two people. So they may not have time to offer full service marketing. Now they can probably connect you to someone who can help you with marketing. And they may offer like light marketing for a fee. You'll have to pay more for that. Um, but my mom and I chose not to pay for any marketing and we just, you know, market the book ourselves. But we did pay for the publishing process, which included, uh, you know, the publisher helped us edit the book. I believe they connected us to an illustrator. I mean, we have an illustrator. And so I think that recommendation came from the publishing uh, company, the independent publishing company. And yeah, so um, now the way that I am publishing my upcoming book, this will be my second book. It's a memoir and it has to do with, uh, the topic is about black women and feeling invisible. Um, and it will be available very soon. It's actually on its way to print very, very soon. So I'm super excited about that. But I chose to self-publish. And why I chose this is because, honestly, I know that I, I, I didn't have the patience <laughs> to wait for a larger publisher to accept me or approve me. And, you know, of course, that's the dream. Every writer wants to be published by a larger company. Um, however, this is a book and a story that I've been working on you know physically working on and internally like in my mind thinking about for probably 10 years and I didn't know it was gonna evolve to become what it has become um, and that's also part of my point that I'm trying to make is that you might start off uh, your your manuscript may start off one way but it can evolve and that's okay but I didn't want to wait and so I didn't go with the I didn't try to um, carry uh, uh, excuse me traditional publishers now with in terms of why I didn't use an independent publisher, I actually thought about using an independent black-owned uh, publishing company. However, I knew that you know there would be a cost associated, and that, and then there's believe me, there's a cost associated with everything. Um, and so, but the cost can be a little. It was a little higher, I guess, than I wanted to spend at that time. And here's even the bigger reason why I didn't work with an independent publisher. It's because I actually wanted to learn the process and I knew if I paid someone you know an, an independent publisher to publish my book you know that would be great it would save me you know time but I wouldn't really learn the ins and outs and I actually wanted to learn the ins and outs and so when you self-publish you learn a lot you're piecing it all together um so I was I, I went on LinkedIn and asked a former co-worker for a recommendation on an editor and it turns out that my editor is also a graphic designer. Uh, she's also a, um, well, she's, yeah, she's a graphic designer and she connected me to her illustrator. And so I kind of got uh, all in one package, which was amazing. And it helped me a lot because, you know, you do want another eye on your manuscript. And I didn't want to just put it out there without having, you know, someone professional look at it and also help me with the cover. Because people say, don't judge a book by its cover. That is absolutely false. People judge books by their cover all the time. So I know I wanted the cover to look the way I wanted it to look. And I wanted the formatting to be on point and all of that. And my editor helped me with everything. So when, when you self-publish, you don't have to do everything. I think that's a misconception is that I'm literally the one that's, you know, drawing up the picture that's going to be on my front cover. No. But, um you do a lot and so one of the things that I did not long ago is you know I had to register my book with the copyright office and with the Library of Congress and um, there was another I had to get the ISBN number I had to pay for that I also had to pay for the barcode and I had to send all of this to my editor so she can put it on the book and that includes the price so I had to set my price point how much do I want to charge people to buy my book so um, Hopefully this video is helpful again, you know, how, how do you as a black person or a person, if you're watching this video, how do you become a published author? You have to decide if you want to traditionally publish and take the time that it's going to take to do that. If you want to um, go with an independent publisher and you're going to have to do research to find both of those really, but you know, especially with the independent publisher, you want to do some research on that and do, look at the reviews you know on google um and then lastly if you just want to self-publish and self-publishing i like it because i like the level of control that i have i don't have to worry about 
anyone wanting me to change certain aspects of my story because it doesn't fit their guidelines. Um, so that part is really, really awesome. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful. There's pros and cons to, to every way that you publish. If you have more questions, leave comments um, down below and I will you know, gladly answer your questions. And um, please like this video, share this video, subscribe. This is a new channel. So I really wanna get, my, get myself out there, um, especially before my book hits the streets. <laughs> so uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video.